Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm me building the best possible team for under 500,000 MT in NBA 2K22, my team. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform. So without further ado, let's get on to the video for the 500k team our starting point guard is going to be someone who i think is a top three point guard in my team right now and that, that is going to be the man himself dwayne wade we're just going to do the bracket busters one because he is around 75k for the bracket busters version which for dwayne wade i think is really worth it because he is a top three point guard in my opinion he's a shooting guard point guard six foot four six foot ten wingspan he's got a 94 three ball 97 mid-range 98 speed 98 acceleration defensively actually is really good overall 85 interior 96 perimeter defense 96 lateral 95 steel and 90 block is super good 95 drive and dunk 92 ball handle 98 smooth ball is all really good all fame pickpocket menace intimidator interceptor clamps all fame quick first step hails for days dimer all fame catch and shoot sniper got pretty much all the other shooting badges on gold Hall of Fame Posterizer, Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff. We look at the animations, has the quick dribble style, and has the Wayne Wade's jump shot on quick timing, which is obviously really good. So for the 500,000 MT team, I do think Dwayne Wade is going to be a really good point guard for the squad. At the starting shooting guard position, you guys will know if you watch my videos on these team builders. I love this RJ Barrett guy. He's only 10,000 MT, so he's going to save us a lot of MT for the rest of the players. And I do think he's a super elite shooting guard and a very underrated shoot shooting guard in my team right now. He's a small forward shooting guard, six foot six, six foot ten wingspan. He's got a 94 three ball, 90 mid range, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, really good defense all around, 90 steel, 93 lateral, 93 perimeter, 84 block, and 85 interior defense, 95 driving dunk, 99, 99 ball handle, 92 speed of ball, all fame quick first step, quick chain, hyper drive handles for days, all fame clamps, interceptor, menace, as goal chase down artist, intimidator, pick dodger, pickpocket. We look at the shooting badges, has Hall of Fame shooting, or Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, Hall of Fame Posterizer. We look at the animations, also has the quick dribble style, which is really good, and has Rudy Gay, Rudy Gay on quick timing, which we all know is a very good jump shot. So RJ Barrett for only 10,000 MT, he's gonna be super elite at our shooting guard position. The starting small forward for the team is gonna be Pink Diamond Ben Walls, the out of position card that just came out this past Friday. He's gonna be our, lock, our lockdown defender, on the starting lineup rj barrett decent defender Dwayne wade good defender but we still need like our lockdown guy that we can put on their best player and kind of lock him down if they have a luca if they have a jordan and kind of put him on ball and he's probably one of the best locks in the game shooting guard small forward six foot nine seven foot wingspan 95 speed 95 acceleration 97 vertical 95 strength just look at these defensive stats 97 block 97 steel 97 lateral 90 perimeter and 96 interior defense also has a 90 standing dunk 90 driving dunk can even handle the ball a little bit 86 ball handle 88 speed with ball great rebounder 98 offensive 98 defensive which is going to help with our rebounding on the starting lineup all these hall of fame defensive badges rim protector rebound chaser post lockdown pickpocket intimidator clamps interceptor chase down artist brick wall has gold bullet passer bailout hands for days glue hands quick first step which is really nice has gold catch and shoot and you can give him pretty much every you can give him every shooting badge in the game probably want to give him like sniper give him dead eye green machine those type of badges and only a 74 three ball might be a little bit low but if you give him a if you give him a shoe boost plus four and then you give him a plus six coach boost that's going to easily be up to an 84 and i think 84 in my team is very easy to green and he's got a really good jump shot on very quick release timing and like i said he can move a little bit with that shifty dribble style as well and has decent ball handle and decent speed with ball so all around really good small forward but mainly going to be our lockdown defender for 20,000 mt starting power forward is some power forward that i am super high on i think this tim duncan card is a super elite power forward i think he's going to be a great defender and a great rebounder for this starting lineup but as well can do a lot on the offensive end he's a power forward center six foot eleven seven foot two wingspan he's got 86 three or yeah, 86 three ball 95 mid-range 88 speed 88 acceleration but like i said an amazing defensive power forward 97 block 
98 interior, 95 steel, 82 perimeter defense, 85 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk, great rebounder, and handle the ball a little bit, but don't really expect this card to really handle the ball on offense for us. Us Hall of Fame, Rim Protector, Rebound Chaser, Post Lockdown, Pogo Stick, Interceptor, Clamps, Intimidator, Brick Wall, As Gold Bullet Passer, Hands for er, Quick First Step, Glue Hands, Bailout, All Fame Catch and Shoot, Set Shooter, As Gold Corner Specialist, Dead Eye, Hot Zone Hunter, and Sniper. We look at the animations here, has his jump shot on very quick release timing, which is obviously really good. So Tim Duncan gonna be really good on defense, really good on offense in the pick and roll, in the pick and pop, and I think he's just a super solid power forward overall for about 45 to maybe 50,000 MT somewhere in that range and then for the starting center in my opinion this is the best center in my team and we're going to have him on this team that is going to be Galaxy Opal David Robinson and I know some people are going to say Kareem some people are going to say Artis Gilmore for the best center in my team but me personally I do think it is David, David Robinson he's a center power forward seven foot one seven foot five wingspan 91 three ball, 96 mid range, 91 speed, 91 acceleration. Defensively, really good overall. 94 block, 95 interior, 80 steel, 90 lateral quickness, and 84 perimeter defense. 90 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk, 90 offensive rebound, 90 defensive rebound. Can even handle the ball a little bit for your center with 86 ball handle and 89 speed with ball. Really good defensive Hall of Fame value, just pretty much has all the ones you would want. As Hall of Fame quick first step, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, corner specialist. Goal blinders, hot zone hunter, limitless spot up, set shooter, and sniper. And then we look at the animations. In my opinion, D Rob does have the best big man jump shot. David Robinson, David Robinson on quick release timing. In my opinion, that is the best big man jump shot in my team right now. So, super elite big man for around 100, 100K to 110,000 MT is going to be what you can get this signed david robinson for if you guys want to get his unsigned version you could as well it's a little bit cheaper i think it's like 95k to 100k for the unsigned version so if you guys want to do that you definitely could but if you guys want to save some mt but we're going to use the more expensive one because we're still going to be under budget so yeah around 100k to around 110k for david robinson the starting lineup in total comes to around 275,000 mt but we'll talk about the price at the end of the video and talk about each player and how it adds up but for the backup point guard position we are going to go with Cade cunningham top four point guard in my opinion the fourth best point guard in my opinion in the game super elite only around 75k same prices uh wade maybe a little bit cheaper probably 70k for a guy like Cade. point guard shooting guard six foot eight seven foot one wingspan he's got 93 through three ball 92 mid-range 92 speed 92 acceleration defense isn't the best but him being six foot eight with the seven foot one wingspan is definitely going to help with that 92 ball handle 92 speed with ball as hall of fame quick first step quick chain hyper drive floor general dimer bullet passer as hall of fame blinders catch and shoot or, or catch and shoot dead eye rhythm shooter and sniper if we look at the animations here got his jump shot on quick timing which is really good and has that shifty dribble style so it can be a really good point guard off the bench for this 500,000 MT team. And then for the backup shooting guard position, we're gonna go with Scotty Pippen. I do think he's a little bit better of a small forward, but for this team, he's gonna have to play the shooting guard position, which I still think he can at a very high level. He's a shooting guard, small forward shooting guard, six foot eight, seven foot wingspan. He's got a 92 three ball, 90 mid range, 94 speed, 94 acceleration. Really good defender. He's gonna be our lockdown defender on the bench 97 steel 98 perimeter or 98 lateral 97 perimeter also has 88 interior defense and 80 block 90 driving dunk 93 smooth ball 86 ball handle as hall of fame catch and shoot corner specialist sniper hall of fame post riser and then like i said defensively gonna be an absolute monster on the perimeter hall of fame pickpocket pick dodger menace intimidator interceptor clamps as Hall of Fame quick first step. We look at the animations here, has quick triple style and has a jump shot, which is really good on quick release timing. So Scotty Pippen for around 45 to 50,000 MT, gonna be our lockdown defender on the bench, but he can still handle the ball on offense and give us a lot of offense off the bench, which is really nice. At the backup small four position, we are gonna go with Galaxy Opal Rudy Gay. We are gonna go with the unsigned version just to save a little bit of MT because honestly, the signed version and the non-signed version, there's no real difference in the cards. As power forward, he's a power forward, small forward, six foot eight, seven foot three wingspan. He's got 91 three ball, 93 mid range, 93 speed, 93 acceleration. He's just a really good overall small forward. I think that's a position we need off the bench. 
He's got 93 lateral, 90 perimeter, 87 steel, 85 block, 86 interior defense, 97 driving dunk. He's really good at going to the rim. 90 ball handle, 90 speed with ball. Just like I said, just a really complete overall small forward. Got Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame interceptor, Hall of Fame quick first step, catch and shoot, difficult shots, rhythm shooter, has goal blinders, dead eye, hot zone hunter, sniper. You can give him limitless, you can give him chef. So he definitely needs those shooting badges, has quick dribble style, and has Rudy a jump shot on quick release timing. So just like RJ Barrett, Basically, him and RJ Barrett are very similar on the offense, but defensively, I'm gonna say Rudy Gay is a little bit better just because of the fact that he's six foot eight with a seven foot three wingspan and for around 50,000 MT, kind of the same price as Scottie Pippen. I think Rudy Gay is gonna be our main ball handler off the bench. At the backup power forward, we are gonna go with Diamond Bull Bull. I know that might surprise a lot of people because, like, why are we using a Diamond card at this late in the year? But this Bull Bull card, you guys will see in a second why he is super overpowered if you guys ever used him or ever played him you know why he is super elite power forward center seven foot two with a seven foot seven wingspan super glitchy card really good overall stats don't look the best badges don't look like the best but once you use this card in game or you play against him he's gonna play amazing defense he's really good on offense in the pick and pop and in the pick and roll he's got a great jump shot only on normal timing but it's very easy to green and like i said very good in the pick and pop he's gonna snag rebounds play amazing defense on their tall defenders and you can play a lot of switch defense with this card because of how tall he is so he can guard the center he can guard the power forward he can guard the small forward he can realistically guard one through five if you wanted him to so i think bull bull for around 50,000 mt which i know is super expensive for bull bull who's only a diamond card i do think in my personal opinion it is worth it and then for the backup uh, uh center is going to be our only free card in this team i try not to use too many free cards in these lineups because i want you guys just to be able to go on the auction house and go buy this team so let's say someone had 500,000 mt and they want to just go pick a team online right or build a team and then go play online and they had 500,000 mt they can watch this video build a team and they go online but ralph samson gonna be your only free card in this team he's only a three to five hour grind if you're decent at the game won't take you guys that long they seem harder than they actually are but he is a center seven foot four seven foot eight wingspan he is basically just like a Yao Ming clone. He's going to be really good on defense, really good at grabbing rebounds, and then really good on offense at mashing in the paint. A little bit low three ball and a little bit low speed, but like I said, that's not what he's really there to do. He's just there to mash on offense, grab rebounds, be good in the pick and roll, and then play amazing defense. So Ralph Sampson for being free is definitely going to be worth it. So this team comes to around 480,000, 490,000 MT. So right under the budget of 500,000 MT. Let me know in the comment section down below. Would you guys run this team? What players would you guys change? I do think this is the best team you can build with under 500,000 MT. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.